about to film my car tour. I'm not really possible anymore, so. This weather needs to sort itself out because I'm trying to get my car tour over here and you ain't really helping me, so. What's up? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby if you're new here. Thank you so so much for joining me today. This video I've been wanting to do for the longest time now that I finally have my car. The struggles that I went through to get this car and the insurance and everything else like I'm going to explain it all in this video but it just feels like the biggest blessing ever to actually be sat in this car right now. But in today's video I'm going to do a little car tour. Even though it's really not so I won't be able to show like the outside of my car so I'll include some pictures. But I'm going to show you guys inside what I've got in it, everything else. Sorry, it's a bit rude, isn't it? It's Ricardo. So I'm going to show you guys around my car. I'm going to explain how I got it. I'm going to explain how to get it, like, how to get your first car cheap, basically. Because, trust me, I know the struggle, okay? You find your first car. Unless you're rich or a millionaire, like, you, you're good to go. But when you're, not broke, but when you're, you know, of the most money, let's just say, it is a struggle, okay? Insurance is a, I'm not going to swear, but a B-I-T-C-H, basically. <laughs> and yeah like cars are expensive running a car is expensive so the fact that I'm, I've got the car right now I just feel grateful every single time every time I sit in this seat and I'm driving I'm like this is my car like oh it just feels amazing so let's just get straight into the video explain to you guys everything ignore the rain by the way let's just go on with it before it starts raining even more because England fix up please I'm trying to film a video right now Okay, so this is what you see when you come into my car. I've also got the steering wheel. I have this diamond, I don't know if you guys can see. I have this diamond steering wheel cover, which I got from Amazon. I can link this down below in the description for you guys. But yeah, it was literally so cheap and I love it. Like it just adds so much to your car. And I've got this little diamond G here, G for Gabby. And my car is also called Gyra, so it's G for Gyra. And yeah, I just love it so much. Oh my gosh, I need to show you guys my keys. Cause my keys, oh my gosh. So I've actually, so I've got a lip gloss on here and then I've got guys are you ready for this you guys are gonna think i'm such a weirdo but and what it is is basically an eyebrow gel a mascara and an eyeliner like how sick is that like so whenever i'm out in public and my mascara is going everywhere or i need eyebrow gel to fix my eyebrows or whatever this is all here in my key so that's so sick i got from home bargains also because my car's very basic I've, i have tried to like glam it up a bit by putting like diamonds and stuff so i've got this little diamond thing which came with the actual um steering wheel this little thing here anyway down here i just have my chewing gum my favorite chewing gum ever some vaseline my charger this little car perfume thing hand sanitizer obviously got my lip gloss in there my favorite lip gloss just got two pounds chilling there so my car is actually a five door car so i do have two doors here at the back so much room like literally so much room and also my seats are all leather which i love so much because like for a 2009 car like it just looks so good like brand new the car is literally in top condition like there's no scratches no stains nothing like it's literally perfect i literally adore it so much going back to the front i do have this little car bin so literally put all my little rubbish in there it's so cute like it was literally like two pounds from the range so i love that so much i've just got some bags over there when i do my shopping and then moving on to this side actually what have i got down here oh this is actually a mess isn't it Okay, maybe I'm not going to show that, but I've just got some tablets here, hay fever tablets, uh, my neurofilm, I've got headaches. Because I do get headaches sometimes when I'm driving, which is really annoying. And I've just got some glasses down here, water bottle obviously. Okay, moving on to this side, let's see what's in my glove box. So, obviously, snacks. Would this car even be mine if it didn't have snacks in it? So I've just got a packet of sweets here, some squares I might eat now actually because I'm a bit hungry. And I've got some antibacterial wipes. So yeah, I've got some cellar tape. I've got this little kit to like um to do my wheels. I've got this little perfume from it's actually like a Victoria's Secret um dupe, but it's from the range. And then in here, this little bag, I've just got an extra um aux cable there. I have nail file, hairbrush hair bubbles um yeah but just like girl essentials i guess like i've made sure that my car has every essential possible like you come into this car you need something you need some eyeliner girl i got you you need mascara i got you you need a brushy hair girl i got you okay so this car has everything you could ever need and yes so that's that and then moving on here i just have some chewing gum and then in this little bag is another little emergency kit bag let's see what's in here so in here I just have 
some duct tape. This is what I use to literally hold my camera down when I do like drive me videos. Well, when I start to do them anyway. And I just have some medicine. I have this little thing to take notes on. I have some hand cream. And then I also have this little concealer. This actually comes in so handy. Like when you make it rubbing off and you can just pop some on. Or when you've got a spot coming through, pop some on. All sorted. Oh my gosh, I'm actually a tramp. What the heck? Right, let's, these are like my staying at home joggers, so let's just not mind that, okay? Anyway, and then, yeah, just basically got that. Okay, so moving on, the next thing that I absolutely love about my car, it's not going to show as well because it is daytime, so you won't be able to see it as well. Let me just turn my car on. So, I do have, okay, so I have these LED lights which come on in, up here. So, I've got one on this side, on that side, and then... And also at the back as well so literally like lights up my whole car at night it looks so sick like I literally love it and obviously it comes with this little remote and yeah you can literally choose what color you want so I got these off of Amazon which are probably like nine pounds I'll link it in the description box for you guys but yeah it just makes your car look so cool at night like when you're driving it just looks so good so yeah love that so much okay now that it stops raining, I can show you guys my boots but yeah, this is basically my car actually I'll show you guys Silver, five doors. Yeah, let me just open the boot. Oh, I forgot I have my guitar in here. So in here, I just have this little basket, which basically holds, ignore this, is like my best friend, that she forgot it, she literally forgot it in my car. But I just have some body butter for some reason, I don't know why. I've got some deodorant in here. Ask me why, I don't know. I've got some antifreeze coolant for my car. I have, this is just ignore this. Um, and then I've got some water in here. I've always carried water in my car because water everything and i've just got this little screen wash there as well so that's basically what's in my boot it's actually like really spacious as well like it's really big so yeah, this is basically what it looks like okay so i'm gonna go through everything about the car how i got it the insurance everything basically so the first thing i wrote down was lessons so obviously before you can get the car you need to pass your test pass your theory test blah 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 so I did lessons for pretty much, well I started in 2017, I was 17 years old, I'm 20 now by the way, This is that just shows like how much I procrastinated, but money was a big issue back then so like I couldn't really buy lessons because I was broke back then, I couldn't afford lessons so yeah. But anyway, I started lessons when I was 17, I had like two instructors at the time because I was like, I didn't like the first one so I went to another one, and it was yeah, so I was like, mm, I'm, just, I'm just like a big gap, so I thought you took like a two year gap, 2019 I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start driving again, so I think it's around like April time maybe, um, I started with, I found this new instructor through my friend, he's called Matt. Let me just, let me just talk about Matt real quick. I don't know if he's watching this video, but Matt was the best instructor ever. Like, I literally wouldn't have passed if it wasn't for him because my instructors made me feel so like, I was literally on edge like, all the time. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. And they'd either shower at me or they'd be like super, like just not clear enough. But Matt was so, he literally had a patience of a saint. I do two other lessons with him, like once every week. And... I remember one lesson, we literally spent like nearly two hours, a whole two hour lesson, trying to teach me how to do reverse parallel parking, because I probably can't do it to this day, I probably forgot everything, but he literally sat there for two hours teaching me, like I'll never forget that day, and then I finally got it, I was like, I'm so happy. Oh, he's just the best instructor ever, so if you do it in Manchester, like Salford area, Eccles area I guess, I'm going to put his link, his Facebook link in the description so you can guys can click it. Obviously he's not doing lessons at the minute because it's lockdown, whatever. But when you when he does start doing lessons again, if you live in Manchester, get your lessons with Matt because he's he's so good. He's not just like a really good instructor, like he's so good explaining things so clearly. Like he's explaining things, let's just like get it straight away. Let you be in the cars and when we'd be stuck in traffic, we'd just be chatting about Netflix, we'd be chatting about music, about life. Like he's just so much fun, so... Matt was definitely the biggest help for me of passing my test. Like the mo the main thing is to, is to get a good instructor. Like if you got a bad instructor, if he shouts at you, if he's like really impatient, if you don't, if you're not clear enough, don't waste your money, don't waste your time. Get someone who you're actually gonna enjoy your lessons with. Like I feel like it helps so much more if you actually enjoy your lessons. Like you know those lessons where I used to feel scared to go to my old lessons, like with my instructor. I used to feel like scared, like oh no, I've got like driving lesson. If you enjoy your lessons, it makes driving so much more enjoyable and less like rather than like really scary. So. That's another good thing. Make sure you actually like your instructor, I guess. So I did a few lessons with Matt, and then October 15th, I passed my test, which is the best day ever. Like, I was so happy that day. I was so excited. But obviously, I only got my car in May. May? Yeah, I only got my car in May, the 13th. So that goes to show that it took me a while to get my car, okay? Like, I passed my test, I was like, oh, I can finally get my car now. And I started searching for insurance and cars, and I was like, oh, this is expensive. 
which I got like taken back by the prices I've been seeing and like because like because I didn't really know much about cars and stuff I was going for like polos, golfs, like really recent like new brand new golfs and I was like am I okay? but I really think I'm able to afford this like what the heck and obviously like I was willing to pay for it by myself like all of this like is out of my own money and your girl doesn't earn the most money so I couldn't really go all out so I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do like this is gonna be so expensive like, I'm never gonna be able to get a car I was like you know what rain <laughs> rain go away but yeah I was like you know what I'm just gonna keep praying asking God to help me to provide to get this car and like in the meantime I was gonna save up like most of my money and then it came to May I finally had like the money to actually get my car and obviously my, my dad helps me so much like thank you so much dad if you're watching this thank you so 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 much like I love you dad like you're my everything. Is that guy weeing? Oh my gosh, I felt like a guy was weeing like outside the house. What the heck? Anywho, um, <laughs> yeah, I want to say a big thanks to my dad if he's watching this video because he helps put towards like my car. And without him, I don't know what I'd do. Honestly, like he's been the biggest blessing to me. But other than the actual car itself, I pay for my insurance, my own road tax, petrol, everything. Okay, so it's cost me. It's cost me. It's broken my heart to see that money leave my bank account. <laughs> but um yeah so may time i found this car that i want i was gonna finance okay so this is like my tips about finance if you should finance or buy outright basically i was gonna find this car because i was like okay that's cheap i can get a really nice car and like pay for it monthly blah 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 so yeah i was gonna go ahead with this car that i found this really nice brand new corsa and then it just didn't work out so i was like you know what crap finance i'm gonna find a good car that's affordable and i'll be able to like get so i was like you know what let me find one i couldn't f i literally looked on facebook market i looked on um what's that thing called auto trader I was on all the car websites everyone was like literally so expensive like okay so for me my price range i had to go down because i'm not one of those i could spend like five grand on a car i had like way less than that so i had to literally look hard and i think that's, that's the same for many people out there if you're like around my age like 20 if you're like 17 to like 21 we all know it's a struggle like we don't just have five grand sitting in our bank accounts unless you've got rich parents then good on you but so i had to settle for less basically then my dad was helping me find a car. He contacted his mechanic from Bradford and he actually had a car, a Corsa. He was like, I'm selling a Corsa. It's um, a 2009. My car's 2009, but just wait, okay? Don't be like put off by that. Just wait, okay? <laughs> but yeah, it's a, he's like, I've got a 2009 Corsa. It's silver. It's perfect. Because like, obviously he's a mechanic. He's like literally made everything amazing. Like it's literally, it feels like a brand new Corsa. The way it drives, like all the things work perfectly. Like it's just oh this car is amazing for the year like you would never think this is a 2009 car you literally think it's like 2018 basically and i just love it so much so anyway <laughs> like, as you can tell i'm a bit obsessed with my car but um the price is literally so good it's like around the 2k mark and i was like okay let me check insurance so insurance was kind of expensive it was 2k 2000 and something and i was like damn like Damn, I'm gonna take two thousand pounds out of my bank account. So okay, you know what? Let me see what I can do about that. So instead of paying it two thousand pounds for insurance in one go, I paid. I'm paying monthly for it. So I pay like a, I pay around like hundred ninety pounds monthly. So that's actually not bad at all. When I seen that deal, I was like yeah, that is a deal I'm getting. I'm not gonna mess around on getting this this finance deal. So my car is fully paid off. I don't have to worry about it. My mum's. I'm filming. <laughs> Um, yeah, so my car is fully paid off. I don't have to worry about any of that. I've paid off my royal tax for the year, which was around 112. Not 100. how much was it? I forgot. So I paid my royal tax off for the year. So that was like a weight lifted on my shoulders. And then um, yeah, and then I was paid for my. Literally, all I do now is pay for my insurance monthly and my petrol. My petrol. My car is a 1.4 liter, which at first I was like, oh, I don't really want like, a big engine because obviously like more fuel blah, blah blah more expensive but my car is so cheap to run like i literally put in 15 pounds weekly and that fills up like literally half of my tank or even more than half my tank so that, that's so good so cheap to run for 1.4 liter 15 pounds a week and it does the job basically so on that topic of like road tax petrol it's one thing having enough money to buy the actual car and insurance but it's another thing having the money to maintain it basically like people just think oh i'm just gonna buy a car buy the insurance whatever but then do you really think about petrol? 
It's rain. This rain doesn't want me to succeed in life, do you? Like, you don't want me to film this YouTube video. There's another thing actually having the money to like buy the petrol, the in like insurance, obviously, the road tax, the repairs. If you've got like a brand new like Audi or Mercedes or BMW, whatever it is, like that's gonna cost a lot to repair if you have any like damage done to it. Like, damn. But Corsa is like the best first car, in my opinion, because everything's so cheap to repair. Like, I feel like most people have Corsa's as first car because they're literally so easy. Like, they're so easy to drive. They're so easy to run. To like fill up. I know some people, especially at our age now, everyone just wants to flex. Everyone just wants to have brand new Audi. Everyone just wants to have a brand new Mercedes, BMW, whatever it is. Your girl is rocking a 2009 Corsa with a diamond wheel. I drive this car as if it's a Range Rover. I'm like, I'm literally in my car, like, blasting my tunes. Like, I'm driving my Range Rover 2020. You can't talk to me. This is my car. It's beautiful and I love it. <laughs> so, guys, get over this whole thing. Like, you have to have a good car to flex. Stop focusing on such materialistic things. Like, it's just a brand. It's just a name. Like, a car is just to get to what for one place to another at the end of the day. Maybe if I'm rich and I'm a millionaire one day, maybe I'll upgrade to a Range Rover. Maybe I'll upgrade to a Tesla. You never know. But for now, like in our age, like we don't need to have big, amazing, fancy cars. Like it's not about that, okay? This car does the job for me. It's perfect and it's really cheap and I love it so much. So, yeah. Okay, so let me go back to insurance. I said I pay £193 for it and my insurance is with Ingenie. So it is a black box um, insurance and it's basically this app. As you can see, my score is very good. It tracks like you're driving basically. Obviously, black boxes make your car insurance way way cheaper but i've installed a black box here under my thing and it basically tracks like my acceleration braking cornering and speed those four there's no curfews i don't have to be home by a certain time it's such a good insurance company and it's dead cheap and with this insurance the better you drive the more discounts you get so obviously each year will go cheaper which is so good but yeah so far my score like or if everything's green, like the best of the best. So I've been doing really well on speed, cornering, braking, acceleration. So love that so much. So yeah, this is a really good. In Sorry to interrupt the video, but I thought I'd come in real quick and just explain to you guys how to get insurance way cheaper. So first tip is to actually set the date later than you actually need insurance. So my, so I got my car on the 13th of May, but my insurance was on the only started on the 17th of May. So that gap made such a big difference to the actual price, like the total price. Like it literally was like a £300 difference. So say you get in a car like next month, make sure you set your insurance now for then. So it goes like all that time gap for your insurance to be cheaper. If you do like insurance like literally the next day, then it's going to be super pricey. Another tip as well is when you are filling out the whole like form on like, you don't like compare the market basically. It's going to ask how many miles you're going to do in a year. If you put like 12 or 10k, it's going to be super pricey, the insurance. So make sure in that part you fill out like around 4k, I think. I did like 4k on mine, so I'm only going to do like 4k miles in a year. So the less mileage that you do is the cheaper insurance. So make sure you put less than like 5k on that. So yeah, this is a really good insurance um, to go for in Genie. I'd recommend 100%. That is pretty much everything about my car. If there are any more questions you guys would like to know about buying your car, about where to get your car from, um, any insurance questions, whatever it is, please comment them down below or message me on Instagram. I get quite a lot of DMs. Like now that I've put more car videos out, I have been getting more DMs about it. So please feel free to message me. I've literally like helped so many people already by like, giving them tips and stuff because I know how hard it is. Like I'm doing this video now because I wish there was a video like this out there when I was looking for a car because I was struggling so much, like months and months. I could not find anything that was really helpful. So hopefully this does help you guys. I know we're locked down at the minute and it's literally impossible to get a car or to do lessons or your theory. I think the theory starts on the 15th of july i believe but that's when you can start doing um theories again but yeah saying that my tip my biggest tip would be don't procrastinate like i did i started when i was 17 years old and i only got my car when i was 20 i only passed when i was 20 so that says a lot so do not procrastinate if you want to get a car you got to work hard for it okay you can't just be like oh, i'm gonna save up and then you end up sending that money or i'm gonna revise today but not revise the next day like make sure you if you want a car make that your main focus that's what i did like i'm gonna pass this theory test first time and i remember waking up five o'clock in the morning to revise just to revise before work every bus journey i'll be revising my lessons my lessons let's just say they broke my bank account i'm not even gonna lie like matt deserved the money but those lessons made my bank account hurt okay like every week but i was like you know what it's gonna be worth it because when i've got a car i'll be so thankful that i spent invested in all that time and all that money into my lessons become a good driver so that's that do not procrastinate get it done as soon as the theories are back on book yourself in get your lessons done 
and you'll be so 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 glad you did it honestly but yeah i really hope this video was helpful for you guys make sure to leave some comments down below if you've got any make sure to do me on instagram if you've got any more questions or if you'd like to ask me anything about insurance or the car itself whatever it is feel free to message me by the way give me some ideas for me to do in this car so like, maybe i'll do a driving video i might do a playlist video obviously yeah let me know i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like don't forget to subscribe as well although i mean the world to me but yeah god bless you all and i'll see you all in my next video